So I won my first world championships when I was 19 and um, it like it was just the most amazing feeling in the world and I remember like coming home and I'm like I've got two gold medals I was so excited and my mum said she goes ah you know that's the easy part like getting there's the easy bit staying there's the hard bit and I'm like you know you're 19 I'm just like world champion what do you what do you know have you ever been world champion but honestly she was, she was so right like every time I won it got to the point that because I it was gold after gold at the, the major championships that silver would have been first loser you know silver would have been a failure because I, I'd, I'd been achieving gold all the time and it really like so so that was hard that was hard but I did have that drive you know that goal that I wanted to achieve I wanted to to keep winning and and I wanted to win the the big the big ones you know the Paralympic ones but but within that it was just about reframing it so setting goals to make the able-bodied team to to sort of push through on that so so as I was going through, I was I was always looking at ways I could push myself further. And I think like when I first started, I was like looking at the Paralympic women on the, the team and I'm like, I want to be there. And once I got to that level, I started to look at the able-bodied women in the, the UK. Then I was looking at able-bodied women worldwide. Then I started looking at the men. So, so for me, it was always about setting those goals to continually push myself forward.